please. We're talking to Jeremy Wright of RLX, and uh, he's going to let us know what's uh, new at the show this year. You're on. Oh. All right. Well, essentially, the, the big thing that we launched, actually launched a few weeks ago, yeah. uh, Sonic Room. Uh, basically gives us the ability to put any image onto an acoustically transparent uh, fabric and wrap a panel in it. So, so I have a, an image in mind. I have a file. I send it into you. You can put it on there? Exactly. Um, we require at least 150 DPI for the scale. So if we're doing a 2x4 panel such as this, it has to be scaled to 2x4 at 150 DPI, which is pretty accessible for most people. Yeah. Um, currently, we have uh, a library of... Uh, about 800 images that you can pick from, mm -hmm. different themes being, you know, uh, artistic, historical, uh, movie themes, things like that. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can pick from those as well as uploading your own image. So that gives a lot of versatility. Um, right off the bat, we're offering a 2x2 two two panel, a 2x4 panel, and a 2x3 panel, which is typical movie poster size. Right. Um, we're also, uh, we have the ability to do uh, custom sizes as well, as well, up to 4 foot by 12 foot, or 5 foot by 10 foot. Is this screen printing? Is that what this is? No, not at all. Um, really, kind of the, the problem we've had in the past uh, with printing on a panel, such as screen printing, mm -hmm. you'll clog up the pores of the fabric and you'll make it more reflective, which right. is different than what you want to do uh, right. as far as acoustics. Uh, we're messing around with a, a technology called dye sublimation where we actually dye the fabric and still keeps this acoustical transparency. So that was kind of the big thing about that. Well, how much are we talking about for, uh, for these panels? Um, stock 2x4 panel retailing at 249 yeah. uh, 2x2 $179, and a 2x3, I believe, is 209 Okay, we'll move on to this. Mm -hmm. uh, really adamant about going green with our company. Uh, this actually launched last year, our, our Eco Foam. Yeah. 60% um, uh, soy-based, 40% petroleum-based. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're trying to go that way and you know, uh, be more consistent as far as price and, yeah. uh, you know, being green. These are available in a variety of sizes and shapes? Yes, yes. Uh, studio Foam, 2x4 uh, in dimension, 2x2 two two in dimension, up to 4 inches thick. Uh, we do 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, a right. uh, number of different cuts. Cool. Uh, now the Ecotech uh, acoustical panel. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about this. This actually hasn't launched yet, um, but essentially it's 100% recycled polyester. Hmm. Um, still going to keep uh, the same acoustical properties as our, our typical uh, fiberglass product, mm -hmm. such as this. Uh, so you went to like vintage clothing stores and got clothing from the 80s and kind of recycled it, or similar? Uh, most most of this is actually recycled plastic bottles. Uh huh? Yeah. So. Uh, and there's some density to this too. This is, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, uh, about the same maybe as mineral wool, but a little bit yeah, different? I believe it's about seven pounds uh, per cubic foot. So yeah. You know, cl close to what this is. Mm -hmm. uh, but currently it's not shipping. should be ready within a month or two. Cool. You know, the part science series, which we've had out for a while, we're just uh, you know reintroducing that, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, it's a series that was uh, designed by Russ Berger, famed studio designer. Essentially, it's uh, three different products. The space array, which you see here, which mm -hmm. is the diffuser. The, diffuser. Yep. Uh, the space coupler here, mm -hmm. which um, has a, a number of different acoustical advantages. Um, and then the uh, audio tile right here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with the, the space array. Essentially what it is, it's a, a diffuser. Um, it's made out of colonial wood, which mm -hmm. is imported from East Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really hard, lightweight wood uh, with a great sound, real natural sound. Mm -hmm. uh, Fusion as opposed to absorption, yeah. it's going to uh, you know scatter the sound and, and keep the energy in the room as opposed to absorbing it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, acoustical advantage of that uh, is uh, you're not going to have a dead sound in your room. It's going to be a well balanced acoustical environment. Right. Um, so uh, then this, which would be the space coupler, this was designed to couple two acoustical spaces. So for instance, you, you see this room here, which uh, utilizes the space coupler. Um, you have the drum kit. There's a, air volumes above here, like if you had to drop tile ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, the sound energy is directed through the wells of the right. coupler, bounces around this air cavity, and this reintroduced into the room. Right. What that does is it gives it a longer reverb tail, makes a, a larger sound, smooths out the reverb tail. Yeah. Um, so a number of different advantages. It makes it more complex. Exactly. Um, also, you can use this uh, with absorptive treatment behind it, and effectively bass trap and absorb as well. 
Cool. You can do a number of different things with it. What are we talking about for money? Um, I believe uh, the Ray here retails for three ninety nine. Street price is around two ninety nine. And that's a two a two by two. Two by two panel. Right. Uh, fits in the standard drop tile ceiling grid. Uh, this retails for two ninety nine. Street price one ninety nine. These ship, um, basically there's four unique shapes that you can make different shapes with it. And as you can see here is an yeah. install where we do one uh, you know, different pattern. So there's another one up here which you can see. Yeah. Something like Moritz Escher down here where the yeah. birds are turning into fish and this yeah. kind of a situation. Yeah. Essentially what this is, um, you know, we have uh, varied thicknesses of, of the actual foam material. Right. Um, so we're going to have broadband absorption in, in the thinner sections, yep. uh, effectively base trap in the thicker sections. Mm -hmm. um, the edges are going to help to scatter sound as well. Yep. Depending on the actual pattern that you pick, you're going to have exposed hard wall space. Right. What that does is uh, it kind of balances everything out where sure. you're going to have, uh, you know... You've got some reflection, absorption, absorption, diffusion, the whole deal. Exactly. Right. So it's a really versatile, uh, you know, a 